What's up guys, this is Capitan Chago. Yes, this is my first voiceover. So I'm gonna show you some quick review of some of my mounts and some of my opinions. This one. So uh, first let's go to the common mounts. So we purchased some of them in the trading house. Yeah. So let's see. So young mackerel short. So we bought this in around 70 GC. So, is it worth buying? So, uh, let's look at the load. So, usually you get 23, mine's 23. So, 23 to around 27 or more, more or less. And then the sprint speed is 15,000 to 16,000, could be more, could be less. But the water speed is the one that you'll be looking at because the sprint, you'll be using it for just around 3 seconds with a cooldown of around 30 seconds or more. So you might want to focus on the speed, the water speed. So it could be around 7.5 to 8,000, but uh, preferably by the one with higher water speed. So. Next is the Tiger Skin Shark. So, uh, so uh, before I forget, uh, there are three things that you might want to look at, especially when you're buying uh, water mounts. So first is the load, because course it's gonna be a bit useless if you have a low load and then you're gonna be in water so uh, it'll be pretty much attacked by octopus so uh, GG to you and then uh, next you might want to check the sprint speed so uh, actually not, not really the next is water speed because uh, you'll spend more time using this uh, compared to sprint speed uh, as I said earlier so uh, tiger skin shark, yeah. compared to cherish coral, it's almost the same. Uh, you will see cherish, cherish coral later. Uh, so mine has a load of 36.07, so this more or less around 34 to 36 or 37. And then uh, the water speed is um, 9,634. So, uh, get a water speed of 9,700, or uh, I saw some get water speed of 9,800 but um, with the cost of around at least 2,700 uh, I think uh, this is good this is fair for that price so next uh, uh, common favorite uh, crowd favorite uh, mottled, mottled parrot it's easy to catch and uh, it's everybody most of the people's first uh, flying pet, flying mount rather. So the load is 43, minus 43, speed. Uh, um, in speed, this is the land speed of 7256, and the uh, flight speed of 7782. Uh, I see some have flight speed of 1100, so um, you might want to focus on flight speed rather than just the speed because uh, most of you will be uh, spending time flying and covers more area compared to land speed and, and cover, uh, it avoids more obstacles compared to the land ones and then the load uh, that's uh, very important because it's, it's gonna be pretty use it's gonna be pretty useless to be flying and then uh, flying with uh, very low speed so I want to consider load next is uh, northern northern horn bill so, uh, its stats is almost the same as Griffin and then first you might want to focus on the load but I think uh, Northland Hornbill has better stats than uh, than Raptor Griffin correct me if I'm wrong just leave it in the comment section so, this is uh, the usual load could be 30 around 30s to 40s and then flight and then speed of 7300 to 6,000 6, plus to 7,000 plus flight speed of uh, I saw some with flight speed of 10,000 something to 11,000 something so uh, mine, I got mine pretty uh, having a pretty good stats so you might want to check that. 
next uh, actually uh, before I forget North Rend Hornbill uh, costs it's around um, probably 3200 to 4500 so uh, uh, use your gold coins wisely or better yet try to catch one next is uh, got this from the garden event so got this at level 100 uh, this is pretty much a default for most of the event mounts a uh, load of 43 and a speed of 8300 with everything else pretty much useless other than being a step so this is the storm griffin so this is an event item bought from the shop uh, this is usually a def uh, default template of shop items um, some will have a load of 43, speed of 7,800, and flight speed of 10,800. So more or less they add 200 or they just subtract some. But pretty much uh, some of the uh, shop mounts are pretty shitty or pretty much the same. Just like this. Uh, this is the evolved form of Pigimon. So Pigimon has a shitty stat and then when you upgraded it, uh, this was last week's event. Uh, became a flying mount with a shitty flight speed and shitty speed and shitty load next is panda so as i said it's almost the same as this one so they might add a future feature for it to evolve just like that pigemon next is cherish coral so as i said almost the same sprint speed and water speed and then almost the same load and and speed as this one almost but this one is amphibian as you can see there's a land speed of 8400 and it has a good load of tricky next is dolphin lele so you can get this from uh, SPAC but I got this one from previous events last year almost the same as this one but I think uh, yeah dolphin that is a bit faster we just added 60 in the water speed the next ancient alligator I bought this one from the shop so as you can see maximum speed for shop item then load them and then this one you can only buy this the shop so don't even try to kill those hawk striders you can only get blue one and then this one you can get from the shop so basically most of the shop items if it's not upgradable they're not really worth it and this one i got this permanent and then uh, it's a bit slower than the uh than the dolphin Lele and cherish coral but got this from the event last year so next mounts and now my current mounts and this one, you got this. I got this from the nine-tailed fox um, gift pack. So you, can, so you can buy some at the TH. I think it's around fifteen thousand gold coins. So that's around five thousand, three thousand pesos or so. And this one, I got this from the butterfly event, butterfly pack event. So speed seven thousand eight hundred, flight speed ten thousand eight hundred, load for the trees. A bit cheating, but looks good so if you don't mind spending some money uh, which is a shitload of money and uh, taking a risk you could buy packs some of them cost 20 credits some uh, 30 some 50 and the most expensive is koi uh, which is 160 credits just for one pack and that's like 0.1% chance of winning so it's not really worth it unless you're crazy rich and you're crazy so this one uh, got this from the event gotcha event uh, yeah so i was crazy back then so flight speed of 13k and then it's a bit better than the other ones and then it looks really good yeah, i think there are only two of us in, in server me and mc yeah shout out to mc of gods other gods related tribes yeah. so 
so he's crazy rich and I think he's one of the few who owns a koi so we, we also own night bean so this looks really good and body armor uh, this is really the one that I use and if you notice on some of my videos I use this with my armor valley armor on so this is the stats fit good and looks really good too uh, this one you can get the uh, the first form of the phoenix uh, from I think that was a month ago in Lucky Wheel I got that from Lucky Wheel so I evolved it but uh, if you check my previous video, there was also a Royal Flare Phoenix pack. Uh, yeah, I got really unlucky with the previous pack, as you remember in my video. So this uh, looks really good, but this can only be bought in the shop. And I think in the uh, shell event. Yeah. So next, uh, this one is one of my favorite, if not my favorite. This is actually my target, so I returned in Utopia. It has maximum flight speed and maximum land speed and load 55 load. So it's almost it has the same as Gilded Dragon, so you can get this one from third evolution of Black Eclipse from Lucky Wheel and maximum speed. No, actually not maximum speed. Uh, flight speed and load. The only advantage that Koi has uh, compared to these three is that Koi can also be used in water. So it can be used in water, in land, and in sky. So Koi Flame Griffin, almost the same as uh, Storm Griffin. And I think the same also with Dawn Griffin. So this one, Unicorn. I bought my Unicorn from the shop, so it's a maxed stat Unicorn. And then I evolved it to Evo 3, so this is almost the same as this one. But the difference is it has lighter load and uh, slower flight speed. And then this is the evolved form of uh, Elf Deer, Fog Island Deer, Evo 3, I uh, Evo 2 rather. So this is amphibious, it can be used in water and it can be used on land. So compared to the sprint speed, others so this is the fastest in sprint speed or and almost at par with coin i'm not sure if this is the same stats with lava deer or lava elk rather so there you have it these are my different mounts so i hope you learned something from this video so make sure to click that like button and subscribe for more content and i'll see you guys later Peace out.